with India Canada diplomat to grow going to another level. Now uh, it is believed that it's an investment association that has been Prime Minister Modi on the concrete issue uh, that is going on between India and Canada. We know that ever since Justin Trudeau, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister has in his parliament raised the issue of alleged links of Indian agencies in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijay that was a uh, dreaded terrorist and a wanted criminal in India having the cash reward of 10 lakh on his hand for his activities uh, and involvement in the fomenting anti-India uh, you know, sentiment in Canada and also being part of larger nexus of Khalistan operatives in the world. Uh, he has been killed in, earlier this year in the month of June and since then uh, Canadian authorities have been investigating his death. Uh, now, Canadian Prime Minister has said that he has alleged uh, evidences that links Indian agencies role in the killing of her region. Since then, there has been massive diplomatic scale down to the side when we have seen Canada expelling a senior Indian diplomat uh, and reciprocating the same. India has also expelled a senior Canadian diplomat and he has been asked to leave within five days. Uh, but in the midst of all the you know, diplomatic law that is ongoing between India and Canada, what is at stake? India and Canada, they have had a decent relationship, uh, except that it is uh, you know, Khalistani movement that resulted in uh, you know, you know, massive tragedy that has had Air India played Kanishka, bought by the uh, Khalistani terrorists. And uh, there has been not very really uh, satisfactory role of Canadian government from Indian perspective on the persecution of those who have been involved in the uh, that that act of bombing that Karishka plane. Nevertheless, the ties had its ups and downs, but in the recent years, we have seen Canadian government having kind of tacit support to all the elements who have been commenting anti-India sentiment, who have been clearly and very openly, you know, having uh, those Khalistani parades where Indian, former Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's killers were also glorified and this did not happen at once. It happened at various places in Canada at several points of time. And despite Indian agencies and Indian government raising the issue at multiple levels from Delhi to Canada and uh, among ministers also, Canadian government did not seem to be much caring on the issue of something that concerned Indian security, security of Indian diplomats in Canada, security and safety of Indian community living in Canada and also the secessionist activities of these Khalistani elements who threaten in their imagination to part away with the uh, section of the job and form their uh, Khalistan land. So this is a clear sign that Canadian government did not act upon those individuals who were uh, having a very serious security threat for India's security, India's sovereignty and territorial integrity. While Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has called uh, the allegation uh, that if proven, or a proven right would be a violation of sovereignty of Canada, they have hardly cared anything about Indian concerns that has been raised on several occasions in the past. We have also seen the same issue being discussed between Canadian Prime Minister Justin uh, Trudeau and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi during a small conversation they had during the G20 summit talks in Delhi. Apparently, Canadian Prime Minister has also shared some investigation and intelligence report with uh, an alliance that is Five Eyes Alliance uh, sharing information and intelligence inputs with uh, other peer groups in the grouping that is uh, US, UK, Australia and New Zealand. But however, there has been kind of reluctance among the members of Five Eyes intelligence sharing grouping for coming out in support of Canada with an open public uh, support of the investigation that the Canadian government has been doing and left charges against India. But meanwhile, uh, what turn this diplomatic draw will take, that remains to be seen because there is a huge investment of Canadian government. That is in India, about $100 billion of Canadian patient funds. They have been invested in Indian markets. There is a wide uh, presence of Indian diaspora in Canada, about $1.8 million or so plus for Indian uh, community live in Canada. Uh, Vancouver uh, is, is one of the largest area where the, there's a huge concentrated population of Indian diaspora. Then there are uh, issues uh, like the social, political and economic contribution that Indian diaspora have been doing. A lot of Indian students have been living in Canada, going for their higher studies. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, you know, coming and going by Indian families whose relatives and kids, they have been living in Canada. So uh, there is very huge people to people exchange that goes between Canada, India and Canada and this diplomatic draw that is kind of being uh, 
brought out by Canadian uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, probably for his domestic political gains, would going to be negatively impact India-Canada bilateral ties in economics, in people to people exchange, in diplomacy, and in overall cooperation in uh, multiple areas, in terrorism, in Indo-Pacific cooperation, uh, or cooperation in the areas where uh, inter and multilateral organization around the world also. So uh, probably uh, these things must have been uh, discussed between uh, SNFS Mr. Jaisa Shankar and Prime Minister Modi when they had a meeting on the latest diplomatic uh, row that has erupted between India and Canada.